Some men will go to great lengths to get a good kiss from a good woman. What does that have to do with hurricanes? Everything, man. All right. Doesn't matter what I believe. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. I don't know. Okay, stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Please allow me to use my Hogwarts meteorology degree here with you. Class now in session. All right, class. The class I'm teaching is the weather is really weird, bro. Ma'am, there ain't no two way to cut it. And if that wasn't weird enough, you got UN people going, we have 500 days to climate chaos. Almost like we were being blackmailed. You know what I'm saying? But then the weird just got weirder. We now have an official scientific Godzilla El Nino in the Pacific. And scientists have just created a gray swan. It's like a black swan, except you could kind of foresee it. You with me? This idea came out of MIT and Harvard or Stanford or Princeton or Berkeley or some non-Hogwarts place. But then the gray swan, if you thought Godzilla El Nino was bad, breathing fire, causing blast waves in the air. Then, okay, so the weather is very weird. And the sun has been acting very weird. I expect it to continue to be weird. And here I am pointing out why. If I may. I'm going to make two quick points. One, this Godzilla El Nino of 2015, expected to extend into 2016, is one hell of a beast from the deep lagoon of dark matter or some shit. Look upon the tropical storms, hurricanes, and depressions that are lined up in the Pacific. You see that? Look at that. That ain't normal. It's been like that for a while. And it started happening in the Atlantic. And I was like, oh. Which brings us right to point number two. I saw something I never saw before. A hurricane already formed just rolled right off Africa. Like with its gym shoes on, running on water. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen that. Like, And here comes the next hurricane already formed coming off of uh, Africa continent. I was like, that is weird. So, yeah. East of here, uh, and just show you, there's another very impressive feature right here. This would be, this is also turning cyclonically. This is a, we would call a mesoscale convective complex in the United States. Kilo. Kilo sounds like he's friends with Scarface, so I watch out for this guy. He sounds like he's got a grudge. He's like the longest running hurricane ever. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he's just going to meet a lady friend. Man, this is Typhoon Kilo. It was formerly called Hurricane Kilo. I know this is kind of confusing. It's a question I actually get a lot. What's the difference between a hurricane and a typhoon? Nada. Nothing. They mean the exact same thing. If you're on this side of the line, you're called a hurricane. If you're on this side of the line, you're called a typhoon. End of story. Okay, now the interesting thing about this storm is that it's been going on for a really long time. It became a tropical depression back on August 20th. That's like 11 days ago. And it could last for several more days as it at least approaches Japan by late next week. Yeah. Some men will go to great lengths to get a good kiss from a good woman. What does that have to do with hurricanes? Everything, man. Come on. So yeah, that's it. That's that for this report. This, we got a Godzilla El Nino as official. We now got MIT Princeton eggheads going, hey, we just created a gray swan for the weather. I'm like, well, that's interesting. And then we got this formation in the Pacific prayers out to all nations. And you got a hurricane rolling off in the Atlantic. I highly recommend keep your eye on the weather from now to pretty much the rest of your life. Farmers used to do it. Native Americans used to do it. It's a natural thing to keep your eye on Mother Nature. All right, so that's it. That's that. God bless everyone. Talk to you soon. Class dismissed. That is just not normal. Nobody I know would look at that and say, hey, that is totally normal. That happens all the time. You might get some Yahoo joker who is like, yeah, that's what it looks like every time you have a Godzilla El Nino. Well, I would Ultraman kick him in the nuts. Metaphorically, violence is never the answer. Because hurricanes are violent enough.